Hey Virgo, welcome back. I hope you're all having an amazing weekend. And this is going to be a love reading. Who needs it to hear it the most? The messages that are coming out. Always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus sign reading for additional clarity. It's never going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. It's not a personal reading. That's why you always want to make sure you watch your Venus sign reading in terms of love. Um, I know it's a lot, but also your moon sign, because it's how you show up in a connection, and your rising sign is always, sometimes it's so much more powerful than your sun sign that you were born under. So there's always going to be messages for each one of you within those other placements. Um, I am offering, I'm giving away two 15 to 30 minute readings this month for the month of May. All you need to do is be a subscriber and leave a zodiac emoji. So it could be a rising rising sign, um, your sun sign, your moon sign, whatever you would like, a zodiac emoji, or someone you may be thinking about, there's a zodiac emoji in the comment section of every reading that you view of mine from now until the end of May. And as always, at the end of each month, May, I will randomly choose those two people and reach out to you initially through YouTube and of course at the end of the month I'll remind you to, be, to, pay, to pay attention to your notifications. I don't do a video announcing the people that have won because I do feel that privacy is definitely a big thing. Um, and also for those of you that are new I do monthly giveaways. It's just my way of giving back. I'm always happy that you're here and a part of my journey. All right for my Virgos. What love messages need to come out? All right, two came out. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. The other one is calling in your soulmate. Amazing. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. That's called manifesting. What you think about, you bring about. All right, what else for my Virgos? Two came out here too. First time in this session that this is happening, so do pay attention to the letter two. Um, look that up. You can either Google it, the spiritual meaning of twos, two, two, or you could, there's definitely videos on YouTube. Let go. Needing to let go of things of the past. Maybe stop thinking about someone specific. And then it says remain positive. Look at all those jewels that this angel, the spirit wants to send you. All right, let's see what else. Final oracle message spirit for my Virgos. And then we'll get into your reading. There it is. World. Card of 36, which is a nine. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. You know, sometimes when you're manifesting the type of person that you want and you think you're thinking about someone else, you know, and you're manifesting those ask those physical attributes, those personal that personality those qualifications, sometimes some, someone completely different shows up for you. Very similar, exactly what you've been manifesting, but it may not be the person that you're manifesting or the person that you're thinking about. All right, we have your energy, their energy. Current situation, past energy, and the future. Bottom of the deck is the moon. I really feel like there is an emotional connection here. 
I feel someone is holding back their emotions, their feelings. I feel like two people that are missing one another. Your energy is the Ace of Wands. So you could have strong fire in your chart, but you may have, you could possibly be thinking about someone and have a connection in your life already. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like there is a passionate breakthrough for you here. Their energy is the Hierophant. And you know what I'm already getting? Two people that are already in other connections and are thinking about one another. I feel like your person that you're thinking of is already dating someone, could even be married to someone, but I already feel like there's another relationship, like they're in a relationship. Current situation, the world, and ending to bring about a brand new beginning. Remember, be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. So with the world here, there's definitely been an ending of some sort for you. I do feel it. it's with this person that might already have another relationship going, as so do you. In the past, neither one of you making any moves, feeling stuck. Look, the devil is right there. The devil is that image right there. I really feel like there was already an extra energy here preventing the two of you from making any, from any movement. And in the future, it doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. You have the devil, the six of cups, which is definitely somebody from the past that you're thinking of, and the ten of swords. And if you look through this window, there is the, the persons with someone else. So I truly feel, I mean, take it as it resonates because Virgo, it could be your person that is already in another connection. Cross watchers, it could be Virgo. Take it how it resonates. But I feel two people that are in a connection with other people that want to be together. And I feel that there is going to be an ending for the two of you to come together. I do feel that this is a soul connection. The two of you feel each other on a soul level. And that's the reason that you can't forget about one another. But there's a need to let go. Let go of maybe the current so you can move towards one another. Or let go of the energy that you're holding in within you of this past person so you can see what this current person is about what they have to offer you, giving this new person a chance. Let's see. And look at this, how temperance came out in reverse. Yeah, see, there is an imbalance here. There is a need to find peace. All right, let's see. Please clarify the Ace of Wands spirit for Virgo's energy. All right, take what resonates with your chart also, but we have air and fire energy here. You could have very quickly tried to move on to someone else, you know, But I truly feel you're, you, you, it's like you, your heart and your soul know where it wants to be. Please clarify the Hierophant. The Hierophant twice.
Bear, please pair the higher front here twice. Okay. There is a passionate new beginning coming towards you and it's coming in very quickly. Now that this just came out the way it did, the person coming towards you is actually a blessing. It's like the universe, your spirit guides are handing you a blessing. This person is going to be in it for stability and security. Definitely a soulmate connection. You're going to find such happiness within this person. And it's going to be that equal give and take. It's like what you put out, they are going to reciprocate. I feel like past situations have, have left you feeling stuck and just like in a negative energy, maybe dealing with people that had an addiction, maybe dealing with someone that was codependent. But I do feel that there is someone of your past that is a soulmate and they're returning to you. Spirit, why the Eight of Swords in the past energy? The Nine of Cups. It's like your hands were tied. You knew that this person was your wish fulfillment. And why the world called as the current situation? Yeah, see? You're both getting a chance to come together and rewrite this, rewrite this story. What was in pause mode is now moving forward. And please clarify the devil, the six of cups, and the ten of swords. Yeah, here's the offer. The offer of love and the offer of dedication. This person has always felt connected to you, Virgo. It was a very hard ending. I really feel like they cried their eyes out. And they've always felt this connection with you even if you even if you've known them to move on and you may have also your souls are connected it's like there's nothing that's going to keep this from coming together it's actually an amazing amazing reading when temperance came out in reverse i knew that there was a healing that wanted to happen here you have the six of cups again this person could be at a distance from you. There might be some traveling. For those of you that that resonates. I'm picking up on very, yeah, look at this. First of all, specifically Leo energy. But Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then we have water energy with the Six of Cups. Strength and the Sun. It's like two people that are, are going to overcome any obstacles, even if that means karmic partners overcome any obstacles to be together. Your souls were destined to be together in this lifetime. Why the Six of Cups twice? Yeah, see? They want to make this amends. I feel like you both have always been watching each other from afar, waiting for... The right time. I feel possibly with the world here twice. You just both had more of your story to live separately before the two of you came into union. See, you were the queer, the person you already know. Girlfriend, fiance, spouse, love interest. The clarity that you both are going to receive with this heart to heart. Can, like communication this connection seems almost larger than life and here's a card of timing within one to two weeks or during the fall September 22nd to October 21st a balancing of the scales and with it being justice it could even be engagement Possibly marriage. Going places. 
See, I do feel some traveling. You might have went on vacation with this person a lot. You might come together and decide to take a trip together to get just get away from everything and that be the beginning of the of this brand new chapter. Messages between Virgo and their person. I know there is someone better for you. See, this person very well may have lacked self-confidence. They may need it to grow, have grown within. Protect it, you are, and divinely guide it. Yeah, this is definitely divinely guided connection. I love you. Today, tomorrow, and always. I was just not, I was just a fool for not admitting it. And I miss you. For those of you dealing with a Taurus, I feel like they also got I miss you. All right. Guys, always let me know how it resonates. This is, I mean, it sucks for the karmics that you guys are going to walk away from. But listen, you can't help who you love. S. And anytime you try to deny it, it's you're just repeating the cycle. U. E. L. T. V. N I A and a blank scrabble tile and O. So we have every veil. All right, Virgo, let me know how it resonates. Leave that zodiac emoji down below and go ahead and subscribe for those of you that are new, letting me know you're interested in the free readings. Anytime you would want me to tune into just your energy, my Etsy shop is reopened. Um, you can head over there and check that out. I'm sending you so much love and light.